Hey, it's Julia of the Bohemian Bell, and today I'm going to show you a really unusual and fun method to do wet set curls. I call it the toilet paper wet set, and yes, it indeed is toilet paper, you heard correctly. You can actually do really nice, tight curls using toilet paper, and it's super easy, it's very fast, it's obviously cheap because you don't have to buy curlers, you just use toilet paper, and you can sleep on it, and it's quite comfortable which is really important when you're doing a wet set because the big fluffy foam curlers, they're just not really comfortable to sleep on, but these will be. Anyway, so we start with damp hair. I washed my hair earlier, a couple hours ago. See, it's uh, quite long. It's mostly dried, but it's still sort of damp. I hope it's damp enough. You don't have to wash your hair, you can also just spritz it with water. But since I had my hair washed today, I figured I did it now. Anyway, I'm going to just do six toilet paper roll curls. <laughs> so I'm going to divide my hair down the middle. And then on each side, I divide it into three. Like you're braiding it, but you're not braiding it. You're not going to braid it. You're going to roll your hair up. I mean, that's, that's a pretty hefty piece of hair right there. But don't worry, it's still going to curl. So what I do is I take two sheets of toilet paper with the perforation in the middle, I twist it for stability, like this, and it's super easy, you just sort of wrap your hair around it. And then tie the ends. I try to give them a double knot because it holds better. There we go. All right. Now we now we repeat that six times. You know what? I think you get the point, so let's just skip. Ta-da! So here we are with uh, my six little buns. And I'm gonna leave them in overnight, let them dry. And in the morning, I will hopefully have nice, tight, curly curls. The cool thing about this is I didn't use any product, I didn't have any curling irons, any even rollers, like you don't need anything except for toilet paper, so I will see you in the morning then. So it's the next morning and I'm gonna take the toilet paper curlers out. Let's see if it works. It's always sort of a moment of mystery. Will the curl have taken and will they look good or is it still too damp? So now comes the fun part. You pull the ends and the perforation in the toilet paper is going to break and release your curl. Whee! See, there we go. Oh, and I'd say, that's a good curl. That's a good tight curl. See? All right. The nice thing is like, this is real fast because you just have to pop them like a Christmas cracker. <laughs> there we go. So here we are. I think the, tur uh, the curl turned out really good. It's nice and tight. Look how much shorter my hair got. So this is actually really great if you want to do Edwardian hairdos or 18th century updos. 
If I was gonna do like a hedgehog like my video a couple weeks ago, I think I would use more curling papers to get even more curl, to get frizzier. So you see I'm sort of separating it right now. There we go. Now if you wanted more curl on the top, for instance, I would advise that for a hedgehog to get curl right from the root, you would have to sort of um, wrap it a little bit different. You would wrap up the, the toilet paper paper like all the way to your roots and that way you get like a tighter curl. But I actually also just do this for everyday wear and I don't want like super, super curly from the top. I prefer it to be somewhat straight on the root and then gradually start the curls. So, there we go. Now you can use some product on this to define the curls more. For instance, like uh, this pomade I have on LBCC Historical Apothecary, which is really cool. Um, but it is lard based, so it's not for, for the vegans amongst you. But I can just kind of take this and um, spread it on my hands. And that kind of defines the curl a bit more. Or you can just take a modern sort of anti-frizz thing, like BioSilk or something like that would work really well for that. But I like using historical recipes for these things when I'm doing historical hair. Like this pomade is based on a recipe from 1811. There we go. I think this would work also really well for sort of like 19... 40 sort of retro hair, you know, it all depends. Uh, of course, I have very long hair, so if you have shorter hair, this is gonna be way more curly on you, I think, because of the weight of my hair sort of pulls it down. But I think this turned out quite nice, it's super easy, and it's fun. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. See you later.